So at this point we need to cut the little extra pieces off of the head and uh, the handle uh, so that we've got the actual uh, real project left. So I'm going to come over to the bandsaw and I've got the bandsaw adjusted so that the height is correct and I'm using a V block so that a circular product doesn't go rolling around on the bandsaw table. So set your head in the V block and make sure that you're hanging on very tight with your hand onto the V block. Project is sticking out over the edge of the V block. Turn on the bandsaw and very slowly trim off what you don't want. Turn around, trim the other side. And I've got both ends trimmed off. I'm going to do the same thing with the handle. So here I've got the tail end of the handle that I'm going to trim and I'm just going to trim to the outside of the groove that I put. I'm going to maybe rotate it a little bit as I do the cutting. Nothing's ever perfect. You're going to do sanding. That's why we have sandpaper in a shop. Now I turn it around to do the other end. Oops. And there we go. So I now have the end that goes into the head and I have the tail end of the handle and everything is ready to work. So after you have the ends cut off, then you need to do some sanding. And you can take a piece of 100 grit sandpaper and set it on the table and you can sand it like that or you can sand by holding it in your hand. So don't hand in something that has uh, a great need for sanding. If it's, if it's a poor cut, fix it. So get in there and sand it. And always, as usual, you're going to sand with three grits. So we've got the 100 grit, and we've got the 150, and we've got the 220 again. And that needs to be sanded. Don't worry too much about the small end on the handle because that's going to disappear down into the hole that we're going to drill in a few minutes. So here we are at the drill press and I've got myself a three quarter inch Forstner bit which I'm going to put into the drill press and I'm going to drill a hole right in the center of the head. So there I got it all tightened in. Now. I've got a V-block here. At least use a V-block. You cannot do any cutting like this. I haven't got a hope of holding this in the right place. A V-block helps and even better if you've got something that can clamp the whole mess all into one piece and then you don't have to hold so tight. But I'm going to use a V-block today. This is your almost worst case scenario for cutting. So I need to just take a look. Does that look like it's in the center? And that's probably about where I'm going to do the cutting. So I'm hanging on to this. Turn this on. And a Forstner bit puts an awful lot of friction on the wood. So you cannot just drill down all at one time and expect that it's going to work. So I do a little bit of drilling and I back it off just to clean the hole out. A little bit of drilling and back it off. I'm not going to drill all the way through. I only want to drill down deep enough so that I can force that handle in there. That's probably deep enough right there because I don't want to poke out through the far end. And that should be good. So here we are at the last section of fastening the two pieces together. So I have the head and I have the handle and hopefully the holes will be a little bit larger than the handle piece. If it isn't large enough, take a little bit of 100 grit sandpaper, curl it around the handle and just squeeze it with your hands. You don't have to squeeze very hard because it gets quite tight and you just twist it back and forth until you make the handle just a little bit smaller. 
So that's all you have to do. It might take five minutes, might take ten minutes, but you need it to fit right in there so it's loose at the beginning and it gets tighter. Now I want you to take a little bit of white glue, so I put some white glue in the back of this old sandpaper. Don't go putting the glue all over the handle. If you put the glue on the handle portion, when you, fa uh, when you pound it into the head, you're going to squeeze the glue off and it's going to be running all over the place. I want you to put the glue down into the hole, just around the entrance lip of the hole. So I really don't want any outside of the hole. Like that. Just wipe that off so I don't get any onto the handle. And then I take my handle and I put it into the hole. I line it up so that the wide part of the handle is from uh, in the direction of the head, like that, and give it a good few swats and it should pound it in there. Now if you wait a minute, that glue is going to expand that wood and tighten it up and the glue will harden and you will not be able to get that head off without breaking the head or the handle in some way. So that is the step of fastening it all together. We only have one more step after that and that is whatever the finish is that we're going to put onto it. And we're going to put on some oil. So in order to put the oil on, I've just got some linseed oil here and I've got some natural oil finish. You can use canola oil, uh, which is really nice and cheap. And you just take a piece of paper towel and take whatever the oil is that you want. Linseed oil has got a bit of a smell to it, so it's not quite as nice. And there's a lot of oil on there. And it's running all over my hands and everything. And that's okay. And you just wipe it in there so that there's oil everywhere. And I just make it soak in. It takes a little bit more work to soak it in on the ends of the grain. And we need a little bit more here. Not much. Whoa, that's enough. Just let it soak in. Now the funny thing is that after about half an hour or 45 minutes, you won't even be able to tell whether you've got much oil on there at all because it'll all soak in and the wood just will absorb that really nicely and it will, it will look fantastic. So there is your mallet.